Oil cuts mean more inflation, higher gas prices, economic stagnation rate, Fed hikes has caused much damage while OPEC force rates hikes. Uh, no, I see, I don't look at it that way. I actually look at it the opposite way. And uh, I was listening to my good buddy, Andrew uh, Steno Larson, or uh, Andrew, um, Andreas, I'm sorry, Andreas, Andre, Andreas Steno Larson. And if you're not following him on Twitter and you're interested in macro, I'd suggest doing that. And uh, he did a study, and uh, this is a great point, where he goes back and looks at prior OPEC cuts. And nine times out of 10, the reason they're cutting is not really to raise rates, uh, the re or excuse me, raise um, prices, but it's because they see demand softening. So what they're doing is to uh, get ahead of demand destruction by a recession. So in order to get ahead of that curve, they'll go ahead and reduce production. So when you do get a recession and demand does tank, then the price doesn't go down to a low to, to a level that um, they find uh, inconvenient. Let's say, or there, that it it doesn't take oil prices down to a level that uh, is outside of their range of their range as to what is acceptable. That's probably the best way to say it. So, I think for most of the people that are kind of in the know, it's it's not going to do anything to the Fed. In fact, if if anything, the signal to the Fed is that don't raise rates, because these OPEC plus countries are telling you that what they see as far as boots on the ground with all of their contacts and all the banks they know and all their suppliers and all the people they sell to and all these entities globally, they're seeing uh, demand decreasing because of a recession very, very soon. And that's what prompted those cuts to begin with. So you're, 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 you're thinking that, oh, they're increasing or they're decreasing production. So prices go up. So that means more inflation. That means higher prices because oil's an input for everything that we buy. And that's going, if it, that, puts upward pressure on inflation, then that's going to put the Fed in a compromising position because now they're going to have to increase rates. And that's kind of your line of thinking. And I, I, I don't uh, agree with that. That's not my base case. My, Like I said, my base case is the opposite, that uh, they're cutting production because they see disinflation, uh, deflation, and, uh, and a global economic recession coming at us like that tsunami that we've been talking about on the Rebel Capitals channel, that economic financial tsunami that's coming at the short 500 miles per hour.